My name is Apple Bob, Bob. and I'm feeling like a treat. treat. I'm feeling myself like I promote all the hell. And in every last fabulous community, you heard? Oh, hey, Apple Bob here. What's up, guys? This is 5 Minute Anime Reviews, and I'm your host, Apple Bob, bringing you the latest episode of Fire Force. So let's just jump right in, shall we? So, first thing I want to mention is that in this episode, Shinra meets Sho for the first time. Now, Sho doesn't seem all that interested in talking with Shinra much at all. In fact, he wants to capture him and bring him back to the Evangelist. Not a really great look for him, huh? Shinra doesn't look the same. Actually, he looks really excited to see his brother. That kind of unsettles me, though, because it's like... He's so excited, and yet Sho isn't even interested in seeing him, so I wonder why be excited at all. He's giving me a whole lot of Naruto vibes here, but I digress. In the last episode, the beat guy captures Shinra, and he pretty much can't move as he goes towards Vulcan's place, right? Well, Hibana shows up and ends up rescuing Shinra. Great, right? Then Shinra goes off, and goes to save Vulcan. Good deal. Good deal. Hibana's on Company 8's side, right? Right? Well, Hibana shows up to the scene where Arthur is fighting the other two guys from the last episode. He's still fighting, getting under his way. Hibana shows up and he's. She, it seems like she's gonna help him out. But she sort of betrays him. She attacks everybody and you wonder why. And it's like... And then Hibana just says, Well, I'm only here for Shinra. I thought this was a team effort, but okay. At least we got this screenshot out of it. I mean, her face here, going from looking so scoffingly down on everyone like we first saw her in Company 5, to being absolutely hit by this random looking, like, the bear thing from Vulcan Shop. Great, right? Then there's this really epic clip, you just have to see it. This is why I love Fire Force. The animation, the sound effects, everything is awesome. Dude, he just flew right past that guy and said, I don't even care that you exist right now. I have to say Vulcan. Kudos to you, Shinya. Kudos to you. In this next clip I'm gonna show, Sho has to face off against Joker because Joker shows up to attack him because he's going after Shinra. Joker says something about it's not his time. For us, the audience, that's a good thing, but for Sho, it's not. So they have to go at it in a one-on-one, -on -one, and here is the beginning of that battle. Man. There are some sadder parts in this episode, though, too. Vulcan talks about how everything that is dear to him, he's gonna lose. And, you know, that really, that really gets, that really gets my soul. Cause I've had close friends who've deserted me. It's like, what do you think this is? Wild Wild West Wasteland Edition? No, this is a real relationship. But apparently, Vulcan ha you know, has to deal with the fact that Lisa has left him and his other tiny friend, I can't remember his name, but you know, he's been injured, probably not fatally because this is anime, but I mean, this guy is dealing with losing that and having to go from his old workshop to moving in with Company 8. Like, that's kind of terrifying. Going from one life to another life, that transition is not easy. But he has to deal with that. And then he shows this picture of his family that he thought he had. Wow. Then there's this last clip where Vulcan tries to forgive Lisa from what she's done by giving her a chance to come on the cart that he's on. And he offers his hand so that she can go ahead and grab on to go to Company 8. But you know what she does? This. Lisa! Go <gasps> Well, that's all for today, folks. I try to make it five minutes or less. If you like this format, just let me know. Give me a comment in the comment section. Hit me a like and subscribe for more. I can't wait to bring you more content every single Saturday.